Okay, today we're talking about how to replace a blower fan motor. And because this motor is not to be used again, it's seized up, I like to cut the wires off right at the motor to remove the motor from the housing. Simply unscrew these three bolts and then we'll loosen the set screw that holds the motor shaft to the blower wheel. Take note of these little metal washers there. You need those when you install the new motor. Okay, so here's a fan motor in question taken out of the fan coil unit. You can see there's a set screw there you have to loosen to pull the motor and the blower wheel apart. There's your motor that failed. That's what we're replacing. It's seized up, won't spin. Set that aside. And to get the blower wheel out of the housing, remove this plate here. There's four screws that hold it on. Once you remove that plate, the blower wheel will slide out of the housing. And then we're going to set about cleaning and inspecting all the parts. So you want to look for crack welds, missing or broken fins on the blower wheel, etc. This is just a simple solution of degreaser and water. I'm going to gently scrub it with a scrub brush and I even use an old paintbrush does a great job. Okay, now that we've cleaned our parts, simply reverse the process to install the blower wheel in the housing. Make sure you install it in the proper orientation. That's why I like to label the housing, set screw side, motor side, so the blower wheel spins in the proper direction for airflow. Then reinstall your little panel with the four screws. Now we'll flip it over, slide the motor in, reattach our three bolts. Make sure you attach your green ground wire Now we're going to go ahead and attach the motor shaft here to the blower wheel with that set screw. Line up the set screw with that flat spot on the shaft. Before you tighten it down, spin the blower wheel. Make sure it's spinning centered in the housing. You don't want it grinding or rubbing on the housing. Once it's centered, go ahead and tighten down your set screw on that flat spot. To reattach your new capacitor, make sure the microfarad rating and voltage rating of the capacitor matches the data plate rating on the new motor. This one, I'm going to reuse the old cover because it fits properly. Hard to do with one hand. Simply snaps on. Like so. And I'm going to reuse the old mounting bracket to secure the capacitor, which is this guy right here. And you simply slide the capacitor in the bracket, snug the bracket up, good to go. The new motor did not come with the armored cable like the old motor, so I'm reusing the flexible metal armored cable. 
I'm simply going to slide and fish the new wires from the new motor through the old armored conduit. And I'm simply going to tape it on, make a little fish tape. That's what this orange wire is that you see in the picture. And simply pull the new wire through that existing old conduit to reuse it. So let's go ahead and do that now. You can add a little bit of wire pulling lubricant if you need to. And then remember to secure it at the other end at the motor. At this connector, tighten the screws down. Now she's ready to be reinstalled back inside the fan coil unit. Woo! Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.